Earth. Hi, I'm Sarge speaking with Earth Walker Primitives. Wanted to go over a couple of uh, pieces of kit that I carry around with me. Two different styles of a, a piece of kit that I carry around with me. I want to talk a little bit about field shovels or entrenching tools that are called in the military. And I've got two uh, styles here. I want to go over and compare the differences and talk a little bit about the two. Uh, the first one I have here is one that I'm sure everybody has seen. It's the old Army issue entrenching tool or e-tool as we used to as we call it. Um, obviously folds in itself, folds up on itself here. As so, usually comes with a hard carrying case which can be strapped to the outside of a pack. Pull it out, unfold it. This one's a brand new one so it's a little stiff. And as such, and you have a shovel. And um, the second one I want to go over is the Gerber Gorge. And uh, this one here, a lot smaller, pretty much the same concept. The handle folds out, and it's got the little screw lock mechanism that locks on it. And then this one has an extendable handle. Not as big, but it's still very durable, still uh, uh, very good. Now, I want to compare the two and show some of the pros and cons of each one. Um, as you can obviously see, the military one is a lot bigger than the Gerber Gorge, um, which it can be either a good or bad thing depending on yourself. If you like having a big, huge shovel to carry around, then by all means, have a big, huge shovel. But it is bulky. It does weigh a lot. And um, like I said, the, the pouch on itself, that it, the carrying case that they usually come in um, are made for mounting on the outside of your kit. Not that you can't put it in, but it's a hard case, so it just takes up a lot of space um, and also has a lot of weight. Whereas the Gerber Gorge is a lot smaller, a lot lighter, doesn't take up as much space. It does come with a ba with a bag, which is a stra drawstring pouch. There's no clips or anything like that to fashion it onto your pouch. So unless you get a, a kit on your uh, a carrying kit on your own, you got to keep this actually in your uh, your kit. Now, obviously, another big difference is the blades of the shovel themselves. Um, you don't have much, you have pretty much a blunt edge all the way around. You can still hack stuff, hack down vines and weeds and whatnot, cut through roots with this. I've used it to cut through roots and it works pretty well. But obviously on the military one, it has more of a, a knife edge all the way around it with serrated edge on the other side. Now, people say this could be used as a saw. I tried it. Not very effective as a saw. Um, so, uh, but as far as cutting through roots, cutting through vines and whatnot, uh, it's very effective. So, uh, get better blade on this one than this one, but the drawback on it is this one with the handle. It's really uncomfortable sometimes trying to use this, especially if you're trying to do close-up work. You can't really use it uh, short-handed and, and holding it long ways. It's, it's, it's very difficult and uncomfortable sometimes. Whereas with the Gerber Gorge, it's got this nice, good, comfortable grip handle for hacking away at stuff. It makes it a lot more feasible and a lot more easy to use. Uh, it also does have the extended extended handle so you can use it for you know, small work if you're digging uh, holes like a Dakota oven or something like that. Uh, you can dig, dig in and get into small holes or extend it out for a little bit longer use, a little bit more leverage. Um, you don't have as much leverage on the military one as you do with, with the Gerber Gorge because of the hinges. These hinges do loosen up over time and you'll be trying to pry and a lot of times, especially with the older e-tools, you'll be trying to pry and dig up stuff, rocks or big clumps of dirt, and your handle's moving. This is a brand new one, so it's not loose, but if this was, say, five, ten years old and had a lot of usage out of it, it would be very loose and uh, very um, inefficient as opposed to the Gerber Gorge where you only have one hinge. Now, one other benefit, I like the, uh, the Gerber Gorge better, and I'll show you is, Especially anybody who spent time in the Army, digging foxholes, putting in tent pegs or whatever. We will use these as hammers. We don't carry hammers with us, so we will take these. Uh, which is, both of them do do this feature where they flip up and you can use them also as as a, um, like a, uh, a pickaxe also. Um, but like I said, with the handles, the pickaxe on the Gerber Gorge, using it in that method is a lot more comfortable than trying to use two hands or one hand and trying to do it with that. So um, you're sacrificing a bigger blade for a better handle or a, or a better handle for a bigger blade, either way you look at it. But you can use them as 
a pickaxe as so. Um, but like I was saying, we will use these as knocking tent pegs or tent posts or just a hammer, whatever. But with the military E tool, you're smacking right on the hit, on that hinge. There's nothing protecting that. You're going to hit your your um, your tightening clamp there and and the hinge. And that what it does is inadvertently just loosens it up. Um, it's held on just by a bolt and a nut. And then you got a spring action in there when you loosen and tighten it. That's what holds it in place. And after a while, you just get this loose, floppy um, e tool, and it just doesn't work out very well. Whereas with the Gerber Gorge, they knew that's what people like to use these for. So on the back side of this, fold it up as so for the shovel, but on the back side, it has a hammer face. It actually built into it. A good, strong, sturdy steel hammer hammer face to be able to take that absorption. It's not putting it right on the hinge. It's a separate piece of metal from the hinge, from the shovel, and from the tightening nut. So it's taking all that pressure so and all that abuse when you're using it for um, hammering and tent stakes. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to show you a comparison. Um, there's pros and cons of both ones, but I know I carry my kit all the time to Gerber Gorge. I have uh, gone away from using the E-Tool, even though it's got a bigger blade, a sharper blade. It's just this one works a lot more for me, uh, better for me. It's more streamlined, smaller, lighter, easier to pack, and um, also with the, the hammer face feature on it, it just works out a lot more better for me. It's a lot lighter and uh, packs up small and easy in this kit, and put it in your pack and you forget you even have it. Whereas this thing here, bulky, a lot of weight, and uh, it's just uncomfortable. And then it just wears and tear. The wear and tear on these things is a lot uh, smaller of a lifespan than this Gerber Gorge. I've, ever since I've had this, I've had it almost a year now. I've been beating it up, doing everything I can to loosen these up, and it's lasted me a lot longer than most E tools that I ever had. So I just want to give you a little comparison of two items that I carry um, and why I choose one over the other. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you took something from it. Sorry for speaking with Earth Local Primitives. Thank you.